the justice always wins. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Chronicles in Collecting, where we are going to take a look at the Metal Robot Spirits Versal Knight Gundam. This is one of the main characters of the SD Gundam Gaiden anime, which ran for four episodes from 1990 to 1991. It has also appeared in a variety of manga and Gundam video games. This figure came out in October 2021, retailed for $155, and was a premium Bandai store exclusive. Fortunately, I was able to get this during the pre-order window for MSRP. Let's get to unboxing. So I don't know all that much about the various SD Gundams. They sort of started off as like a promotional video that they aired before the movies and kind of the idea was, you know, there are these like little cute versions of the popular mobile suits, you know, they'd show them before a movie or, or something like that. And for anyone, I guess, that doesn't know, SD stands for Super Deformed. It's kind of like, you know, a cuter version of a Gundam. You know, it's supposed to kind of have a little teeny tiny body, but a huge head for someone who's maybe not familiar might be something kind of like a, like a pop vinyl. Then eventually, you know, in Bandai's infinite quest to find new model kits to sell, you know, they created these new Gundams that are sort of just for SD Gundam. And then they made, you know, new SD Gundam episodes with those. And it's kind of about like some kind of like, you know, Dungeon Dragons. There's like a, you know, like there's like a knight. I'll show all the pieces here. And there's dragons and, and all that kind of stuff. And then I think, you know, obviously they made the model kits of the SD Gundams. And I know that they've shown up in a bunch of the games, you know, like specifically like the Dynasty Warrior Gundam games as playable characters and stuff like that. So, like I said, these were originally supposed to be SD Gundams. And then lately Bandai has been working on the quote unquote real versions because there's nothing that screams out real life than a mobile suit Gundam. But I guess the idea is sort of what they would look like if they were sort of proportioned and designed like regular Gundams. Take a look at the hands here. I normally don't really show off the hands, but I really love these like cool, you know, brass knuckles things. And we are back. So I'm actually not the biggest fan of this figure. Um, we'll start off with a few of the pros and then we'll kind of get into the cons while we have it on the floating stand here. So the pros of this figure, I think obviously, you know, it looks really cool. It's a cool concept. You know, it's like a Gundam, but it's also like a knight. It's got these like cool, you know, this cool sword and the holster and, you know, these cool wings and stuff like that. So I do think it's a really cool design. I like the colors. I think the colors really pop. I like the gold accents and stuff like that. Now let's move on to sort of the negatives. I think this is one of the cheaper feeling Metal Robot Spirits that I've reviewed. It, it feels very plasticky. You know, obviously I think, you know, the core of it is, is metal, but most of the stuff that you're seeing on the outside doesn't really kind of have that nice finish to it. On top of that, I feel like the joints aren't like super, uh, this maybe stiff isn't quite the right word, but they don't quite stay in place. So it's like, you know, I was kind of constantly moving the leg to try to get in the right position. On top of that, the sword doesn't really quit fight doesn't quite fit right in the hand, uh, even though I was using the hand that was suggested by the instruction manual. So that was a little annoying and nothing kind of like quite clicked into place as satisfyingly as I would like it to. Um, to get the sword inside of the holder, you like really kind of got to push it and it feels like you're going to break it. I had to double check the picture to make sure I was actually kind of supposed to put, you know, that much pressure on it. So I guess all in all, if I was to make a recommendation, you know, like I said, this figure looks really cool. There's a bunch of Metal Robot Spirits Knight um, Gundams, 
but they're starting to get a little bit more expensive because they've been out of out of print for a while. I mean, Bandai kind of over the last two or three years has been doing all these like real type SD Gundams, and I think maybe this is the last night or you know it's the latest one. So you know if this is the only one you can get, it does look cool, and I don't have the other ones as a point of comparison yet. But that being said, I think there are a number of problems, and it just doesn't feel as quite premium as the Metal Robot Spirits. I think this might be the latest in the Metal Robot Spirits line as of the time I'm doing this review, so I hope that this is not a trend of things to come and maybe just an outlier because of the wings or the equipment or something like that. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do anime reviews that go up on Mondays and figure reviews that go up on Wednesdays. And please join me for next week's episode where we are going to take a look at the YF19 full set pack DX Chagokin from Macross Plus. Thanks so much and keep collecting.